This is video three in the scheduling type job shop models module. And note that this is a late addition. Uh, it's not included in the introduction or the module objectives because I decided at the end uh, that I would include this. In the previous video, we created a model where we had custom objects and a table structure that was used by those custom objects. And I decided that I would go ahead and add this uh, information about creating and using a model template. So here's a version of the job shop model that uh, we had, including the custom objects. So I didn't save the one where we did the dispatching, but that's okay. Uh, we'll just start with the one, the version where we had the custom objects. And so in this model, as you recall, we had created our my server, my source, and my sync, and uh, incorporated those into our resources table so that they were auto-created. Okay, so now what I want to look at is suppose that I want to create uh, a similar model, so I want to use this similar structure, but maybe I have a different uh, layout or I have a different number of servers, uh, stations, and so on. So what I want to show is how we can easily create a template, a model template, or a, I'm sorry, a project template uh, using this model. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in and delete the baseline model. So just go in and delete that. We end up with just the custom objects. I'm going to rename this. You don't have to rename it, but I'm just going to rename it back to model. Uh, and we haven't changed anything. It still uh, has the set of custom objects and the data tables and all of that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to delete all of this data. So first thing I'm going to do is remove the bindings. So that remove the data, uh, the bindings from the tables. Doesn't remove any of the data, just uh, unbinds them. Then I'm going to go through and actually remove uh, the data. We need to do this in order so we don't create some errors. So let's just remove all the orders. Let's then remove the part sequences. Note that I'm not deleting the tables. I'm just removing uh, all of the table entries. And so the tables themselves are still there. Uh, when I delete that, then we end up, so we go back to the facility view and now we have our order uh, entity instance, but we don't have uh, any of the object instances. But we still do have our uh, custom objects. And those custom objects, as we know, are tied to this data structure. So the orders will uh, the the uh, uh, source object, the custom source object, will create uh, based on the order table. Uh, they're tied to the parts and the sequences and so on. So even though we don't have any data, the structure is still there. So now I'm going to save this file under a different name. So I'm going to save this one. Let's just call this one Job Shop Template. And there we go. So now I have a Job Shop Template file. Now I'm going to close uh, Simio, and then I'm going to copy that file. Let me just uh, pull up my file explorer. I'm going to copy that file. Let's see where it is. There it is. Just created it. So I'm just going to copy that. So copy that, and I'm going to copy it to the installation uh, location for Simio. So if you're running the 64-bit version, it's in Program Files, Simio LLC, then Simio. So that's the install directory. And then there's a directory called Project Templates. And so I'm going to, you can see there's some existing templates that we'll discuss uh, in later videos. And I'll just copy the file there. Uh, you'll probably need to have uh, access to permissions to do that. And so there's my job shop template that we just created. Okay, so it's there. Now the next thing I'm going to do is open Simio again. That's going to take just a second here. There it is coming up on a different monitor. Bear with me here. Okay. It's starting. There we go. So now we just have a uh, new uh, model because we just opened Simio. And so now I'm going to go to File, and over here on the left, we have a new from template. So I'm going to select that. And now you can see all of the template files that we had in that directory. And here's the one that we just created. So I click on that. And so what Simio is going to do is create a new model based on that template. And so now you can see we have all of our uh, custom objects. We have our data. So all of the tables are there uh, and so on. So now if we had the CSV files, uh, we could just import or bind and import resources, orders, parts, sequence, and so on. Uh, and we would have a model that follows the same structure that we had in the, uh, the uh, models that we did in the previous videos. So templates in general are a way to uh, reuse some of this 
uh, custom objects and the structure that we have. So again, it's important to note here that it's not just the custom objects that we have, but the data table structure and the corresponding uh, relationships that, that, um, uh, that make the model work. And so it, having templates turns out to be fairly useful. Uh, and we will see uh, some of the other templates uh, that you saw in that, um, uh, in that template directory a little bit later on in, in subsequent videos.